what up soul fam I'm doing a witchy vlog but I'm not driving to work <laughs> but I'm still driving so I figured I would do a little vloggy vlog for ya it's all this crazy energy how's everybody hanging in there that's basically what I wanted to do is just to hop on and ask you guys how are you feeling how are you hanging in there you know um, I hope that the increased fear of this Viros, you know, the, the crown, I can't say it because I noticed when I said it a lot in my videos, they started to take away some of my subscribers and I'm not even a big channel. Like I am a tiny peon channel, <laughs> but, um, yeah, they've been increasing the fear with this and making people wear, you know, those face diapers, <laughs> face diapers. And um, what else? And then the whole talk with this whole political stuff, it's just insane. We are in the war, like we're in the battle of the war right now. Something happened last night that really made me say that. I think because YouTube went down. Yeah, I'm not sure why YouTube went down last night, but it went down all over the world. Everybody here in America, in the in Europe, everywhere, Australia, it was down everywhere. It was down for about 45 minutes to an hour. Well, at least mine was when I realized it could have been down longer. But I was down for a good 45, almost an hour, 50 minutes, something like that. And what came to mind was everybody, I'm not, I'm not sure who everybody is, but there were a lot of everybody's <laughs> that predicted that we were going to go dark. Like, you know, this whole awakening was going to put us through darkness. And, um, like, could that have been the beginning of going dark? Is that like, um, a test, you know, when you do something, you usually run a test before you go dark. So is going dark shutting down all of our social media sites, all of social media? I mean, not only was um, YouTube down, Google was down, Chrome was down, like my Gmail, everything all went down. Everything was just not working for about a good 45 plus minutes. Were they putting some updates? Were they... Um, I mean, who knows? Were they testing their sites to see what it would be like? How hard would it be to go dark? How hard would it be to go, you know, off and then on? Who knows? But um, going dark, maybe it's not a solar flash for, say, where we lose power. Maybe going dark is losing communication. Going dark. Like, you know, I noticed that my YouTube was black. It was just a black screen. It went dark and it wouldn't play anything. And I also noticed that after Trump had mentioned something about Pennsylvania, um, it also went dark from then and a lot of truthers and whistleblowers and critical thinkers usually post stuff from their reliable um, sources and a lot of them are really awesome journalists, the way journalists should be. Um, you know, spreading information, giving, sharing information, truth information, even if it's something we don't want to hear, they still spread, you know, truthful knowledge. They're digging deep. So maybe going dark is losing internet. So we can't be social with each other and connect with each other and hear what's actually going on from state to state, country to country. Who knows? But um, I don't know, that, that just popped up and I was like, wow, what if this is what going dark means? I mean, because they're already talking about Agenda 21 and um, <laughs> going into this new year with, you know, the face diaper and how we're going to have like the worst, uh, you know, winter. They're even talking about the winter being dark. <sighs> it is so like unnerving right now it's supposed to be like the 
the best time to be alive, but it's also the, the most stressful time to be alive. I have my days, good and bad, where I realize, you know, what has to be done for the good to come. But, you know, going through this whole process is not easy for anybody, not just spiritual people, people that are awakened. But it, it, it's affecting people that are sleeping too. It's, a, it's affecting them in a different way. But um, it feels like, some days I feel like the light is being shadowed. Like it's being covered up. Like they're trying to blow the light out. And it's like, it's unnerving because it's like, in all movies that you ever watch in Hollywood, it's always the, the, um, the light wins in the end, even though it's like, it, it looks like it's not going to win. It's kind of like the, if you've ever watched the never ending story, when the nothing comes and it looks like they fail and, and the nothing takes, I think that's what they called it. The nothing or the it, I forget. I haven't watched that movie in so long, but I feel like we're in the nothing right now. And the nothing is like spreading through the universe and covering and killing and taking away everything that was and making it absolutely nothing like a whole total reset to be something but not what we have or had <laughs> so I mean that nothing could make a total new reset of something beautiful or it could be a whole total new reset of something completely awful you know we're evolving everything's evolving this new species of human with our new, you know, polluted DNA is evolving into this new world. And sometimes I feel like the people that are sleeping are just very comfortable with, without living in any of the conspiracy theories. And um, they're just comfortable, you know, being led, you know, like little sheep being told what to do it's like they've been programmed so long to be told what to do that they're just comfortable with it they're comfortable with this amount of freedom that they have you know and everything that the governments give them they're comfortable with that at this point it's 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 a comfort even if they're not happy with it it's a comfort and um I wasn't paying attention and I went the total wrong way. I went the way that I would go if I was to go to work <laughs> and I'm not going to work. That's fucked up. <laughs> it's just a force of habit, I guess, from driving these ways and doing these vlogs in the morning. But, um, so I, I get that these energies can really fuck with us. You know, they can really get us down at times and it, it really just looks like they're, they're going to dim our lights or blow the light out. But, um, you know, what gives me hope is seeing other awakened humans, other truthers, conspiracy theorists. <laughs> it, it gives me hope when I see them holding that light and keeping the faith and, and it just like charges me up when I watch their videos and I'm like, yes, yes. It's like, I needed that. I needed that to, to move forward because it's like. Some of us hold the light and we feel like we're doing absolutely nothing, but we are, you know, we're subconsciously fighting this war, you know, we may check out for a few and we don't even realize you checked out. You're, th this is a war for your soul. And a lot of us are hoping for the best, spreading love and light, trying to be kind to ourselves and to others and, and, you know, keeping the peace, even in a world that is very unpeaceful, being challenged every day to see if you're, you're truly peaceful or if you just talk about it. Like, you know, we're, when I say challenged every day, I mean like you get challenged every day. When somebody walks by you, do you just look the opposite way? Do you walk six feet away from them and treat them like they have the plague? You know, do you smile at them? Do you hold the door open for them? Do you show empathy for anybody? Are you Facebook thugging people or internet thugging people that say things that 
you know you feel are not right are you judging people you're being challenged every day you may say that hey I'm a spiritual person I'm peace I'm love I'm light but then you have family members that are challenging you talking about you pressing your buttons trying to trigger you oh my god there's a heart in the sky I'm gonna show it to you guys I don't know if you can see it it's far away it's far far away far away I hope you guys can see that that's pretty cool I don't even know if you guys can see that because I don't have the little flippy thing I don't know when I do a video on like my camera it doesn't allow me to flip the camera back and forth but if I do a video on like YouTube or, or not YouTube um, Instagram or something I'm able to flip the camera that is so cool that's confirmation you guys but again you're being triggered every single day and you might not even realize you're being triggered you might be getting triggered by employees at work co-workers you could be triggered by people driving on the road cutting you off tr trying to beat you to the red light you could be triggered by somebody that walks into a store and doesn't even hold the door for you they just shut you know they just walk in and just the door poof, slams right in their face you could be triggered by the way somebody looks or the way they act or the way they talk are you are you holding the light are you standing in your truth or are you falling victim to those triggers ask yourself that because this is a process that you have to continue to stay aware and conscious in you have to consciously be aware of what is going on around you now that you are an awakened soul and you have to stay aware you have to stay grounded and the only way to uplift and help is by first starting off with yourself and spreading love um, somebody asked me the other day I might have even been my daughter why do you promote other people's YouTube channels I said because I want to spread the truth I want to spread the love I want to spread the light she goes yeah but if you spread their channels what if they become more popular than you what if they make more money than you and I laughed because I don't even really make a lot of money on my I make money on my YouTube channel with the you know monetizing but it's not like I'm getting rich off I couldn't pay my bills on it not yet at least not with you know 2,400 and something subscribers maybe if I had like 10,000 subscribers I might be able to make a mortgage payment I don't know I don't have that many subscribers yet <laughs> it'd be awesome if I did um, but she's got that I don't know she's got that mentality that you have to like it's all for you you have to fight to keep it for you win for you and it's like wow I didn't raise you that way like society is really fucking with her head and it, it it's a it's a it's she's growing up in a world of uh, competition baseball competition football competition don't get it twisted I love my Patriots but I don't watch it like I used to I used to post about it ah touchdown take that uh, and rub it in people's faces and have fun with it whole Red Sox Yankees thing and have fun with it now I don't give a rat ass who wins they're not paying my bills so I don't give a shit if the Yankees win or lose or if the Red Sox win or lose or if the Patriots win or lose I don't give a shit I don't give a shit it's all competition in school who gets the better grades it's competition nobody's helping each other out they're helping themselves out and that's how society is raising our children or that's what society is teaching our children it's to be about yourself you know that's not community that's not community living that's not what people in a village did that's not what indigenous people did that's not what people of the land did they helped each other out they were a village it takes a village to raise a child that is so fucking true it takes a community we're not community anymore. We're not villages anymore. We are competition. We are 
I'm a winner. We are titles. We are money. We are, you know, selfish. Service to self. And we need to teach our children to be service to others. And it's really hard to do that when you're the only person that's doing it and everybody else is like, you know, service to self. So, I mean, it wouldn't be the worst thing if we went dark. Maybe kids would start reading books again and, and have an imagination and get outside and play. What else came to mind last night? I was laying in bed, finally when YouTube came back up and I was listening to uh, Magenta Pixies Friday the 13th video, but uh, I really don't even know what she said. I, as soon as I pressed play, I zonked out. I don't, know, I don't even remember falling asleep. But um, before I was zonking out, I had to restart my phone. So I turned it off, turned it back on. I have an Apple phone. I have an iPhone. And I don't know, my Apple on the phone like lit up. Like it was glowing bright white. So I covered it with my thumb. And I was like, what if it's programming me? That bright light, what if it's doing something to me that I don't know about? I don't know, I get weird thoughts. And then all of a sudden, the forbidden fruit crossed my mind. And it has a bite out of it. It's an apple with a bite out of it. We bit the forbidden fucking fruit. And I was like, holy shit, I had an epiphany. We bit the fucking forbidden fruit, forbidden fruit. We bit the apple. A lot of us have iPhones. A lot of us have cell phones. A lot of us are on the internet. We're on the web. We bit the fucking apple. Here's the consequences. I don't believe in the Bible. You know, it's man-made. But I do believe that there's some truth in the Bible. There's like little tidbits of truth. So the whole Adam and Eve thing of biting the apple, it has some sort of truth to it. Not exactly, I don't believe that it goes exactly the way it was written, but there's a truth to that. So, you know, Eve or, you know, however that came around or about of it, you know, if it even ever really happened, bit the apple. She took the forbidden fruit and boom, a new age. What was it? The age of Pisces, I think. Don't quote me on that because I'm not even 100% sure. But that was an eon. What was the the next eon? I know that the eon we're in, we fucking bit the apple. We took the forbidden fruit. And now we have to deal with the consequences to figure out how to get out of this. They give us shit that looks like it's cool. Like, yeah, I want that. And then they market it to us like it's the coolest shit in the world. Like getting those, um, people are starting to get chips put in their body willingly so that they can unlock their car and pay for shit at the store and just be like, swipe. They could call people doo -doo -doo -doo, and just talk because they think it's the coolest shit ever. How is that cool? How is that cool? I want to know why you think that is cool to put robotic shit into your flesh how is that even cool do you know that you don't need robotic shit into your in your fucking flesh you are divine if you just tap in to your beautiful magical divine self into your own dna your own blood a bird just like fluttered in front of me your own self you would need robotic shit injected into your, your flesh so that you can make phone calls to other people, so that you could do cool shit. If we just teach ourselves how to be divine, we don't need synthetic robotic shit to be cool. I don't know. I was telling my husband's daughter, she's 20 years old, she's very spiritual, very awakened. She's an old soul in a young body. I was just telling her that I don't know where the human race went stupid, but they went stupid. Like, really fucking stupid. The more and more I hear people say, yeah, people are waking up, I'm starting to run into more sleeping stupid people. And it's so annoying. No matter how much I try to 
I can't change them. But no matter how much I try to be myself around them, to be the catalyst that I am, there's it it annoys them. It triggers. It's at the point where it's triggering them for me to be myself, to be sovereign, to be free. I think the only thing that we can do at this point is to continue to be ourselves, continue to stand in our truth, to continue to spread the light and up the level of love and just spread it. Even to people that are fucking demonic little demon assholes. Like, spread the love to the reptilians. Maybe it'll give them a heart or something. I don't know. But we really need to, like, spread the love and, and, and warm shit up. Because shit's getting cold. Like, a cold-blooded reptilian earth. That's how I feel. I, th- I feel like we're being blanketed in this cold blood. And we need to up the ante and just start warming shit up. We need to start being more artistic and putting our passion to work and doing things that bring us joy. And those things that bring us joy raises our vibration and it changes our frequency. And if you're an artist and you paint, paint with all your heart, paint with all of your soul because it will show. And when people view your art, it will do something to them. It will do something to their heart. It will do something to their soul. If you if you sing for a living or you play a, an instrument for a living, do it with all your heart and all your soul. So when people hear it, it will change them. It will warm them up. It will wake them up. It will make their heart and soul feel something. If you're a writer and you write poetry, write with all your heart and all your soul. If you're a YouTuber, speak with all your heart and all your soul. If you're a makeup artist, apply makeup with all your heart and all your soul. (laughs) If you're a hairstylist, style hair with all your heart and all your soul. And just do it with love. We need to warm this planet up. We need to spread the love and continue to push forward and, and spread joy and just be unconditional love. That's why I love this. I not really fitting that I'm wearing the Grinch shirt, but I love the Grinch because his little heart, you know, he gets one. It gets all warmed up. He just, he didn't hate Christmas and he didn't hate joy and miracles and love. He hated people because people tend to be so fucking mean. They can be so mean and it's up to us, the awakened people, to keep waking people up by being a catalyst and and just spreading love and joy. That's the only thing we can do. And nothing's going to get better until we, the people, until the vast collective gets better. And we can spread that love and joy in nature. We can spread that love and joy at work. We can spread that love and joy on the internet. We just need to stay positive and Stand in your truth, you guys. And support one another. Support, support, support one another. There's enough to go around for everybody. If you have a YouTube channel, post your link down below so you know the people that are subscribed to my channel can come check out your channel. If you have merchandise that you sell, post the link on this video or go to my Facebook or YouTube page if you are um, my followers there. Sorry, I feel lost trying to go I have an appointment this morning I'm trying to find my way to Brockport um witchy vibes 11 is my Instagram channel Gabrielle Garcia is my Facebook channel my haunted life orbs and angels is the group that I run on my Facebook channel if you have merchandise or anything you know spiritual or anything doesn't even have to be spiritual it could be anything and you need help promoting yourself, post your link on my channel. There's enough to go around for everybody. There's enough to go around for everybody. Um, if you need, you know, like uh, like that, um, that faith, that faith recharge, 
to know that things are going to be okay, you could follow people like Magenta Pixie. She's not even an American, and she she's talking about the whole thing with the politicians and have faith and all that stuff. Um, she recharges me. Laura Eisenhower recharges me. Um, David Rodriguez recharges me. All these people have this faith that makes me not lose it. And to be clear, um, I really don't care who's, normally I don't care who's pre president, I don't do politics, but this awakening is revolved around our politics, so we really don't have a choice in what we're doing, you know, it just, it happened that way. Um, like, I don't vote. Even if I did, I don't think it would matter. It's all rigged anyways. Um, the only thing that's going to change it is people protesting and enforcing a change. But um, if I had to pick a puppeteer, it would not be Biden. He's uh, He's got a lot of stuff that's very creepy about him. Very low vibrational. And uh, I think something is symbolic with the whole red pill, red, blue, like red pill, blue pill, the presidential thing, red, blue. Um, I'm not a big Trump fan. I don't like his character. His ego sucks. But um, he's a businessman. And um, I don't know. There's a lot of things that are I've seen in my third eye that show me that he's protected by something that's kinder than what's surrounding Biden. Even if it's still, you know, not really great for the human race or society itself, it's, it's going to be much more tolerable to live under because our human race is not even ready to... Um, we're so programmed as a human race that we're not even ready to protest no government. Like, you know, if it was up to me, I wouldn't even vote at all. And, and I wouldn't even have voting. I would have a counselor, a council of elders guiding us. But apparently Earth is not at that point yet to have a council of elders to show and guide us. You know, get rid of the whole money system and getting get us back on to trading and and cultivating and you know cooking baking sewing harvesting food learning how to live off the land taking care of the planet taking care of the the ocean the waters respecting nature like all humanity respecting nature and a council of elders would show us how to do that and if we had a problem, we would take it to the Council of Elders for guidance. But right now, we're not there yet. So therefore, it's either red pill or blue pill. And it's very symbolic to what's going on politically. I love you guys. I gotta pay attention now because I'm entering, trying to get to the city where, where I live. And I really don't drive too much this way so I kind of got to pay attention or I will miss my road because everything looks like out here all right I gotta go I love you guys Mwah. bye